Hello again today. Thanks for joining me. A little bit different today. We're doing a live daily update for the XJO. Today we saw an increase in volume and price has recovered a little from the losses yesterday. Price did close below this logical level yesterday. It's not surprising at this time of year with the result season on right now that we do get some extravagant trading, let's say, in the market, and sometimes we might overshoot a level a little bit. Price has recovered a little of the lost ground today on an increase in volume, but a narrowing of the spread. So there's definitely supply still in this market. There's no doubt about it. And that's going to leave our market a little vulnerable for the near term. There's this old congestion zone where absorption was taking place previously. A clear break below this level would probably see price come down to where the market was being absorbed at this level previously. So you really don't want to see the market moving below this absorption zone in the very near term. If so, we're probably coming back to test around the 6,800 level. But at this stage, the market's at least made an attempt to hold on within this previous support zone here. And there is a little bit of room just below for any further downside follow through. A clear break below this level will probably see prices move lower again. I did put together a video today in understanding price and volume. If anyone's interested, you can have a look at that. It was on accumulation looking at the stock uh, WDS Woodside, Woodside Energy, if anyone's interested. So the market does look a little vulnerable at the moment. Price has rolled over to some extent and has been moving lower. And today's rise was tenuous at best and showed that supply is still being drawn out in the market. So be a little bit careful, be a little bit wary. You can perhaps look to the downside if this level gets broken, but at the moment, just wait and see what happens. Okay, that's a lot. Thanks for your time. See ya.